Okay, this is a um, quick demo on the progress of the 3D graphing app that I've been working on. And in this little video, I just want to demonstrate the trace feature. So uh, we're going to graph uh, this crazy looking um, surface here, which has quite a few sections of um, undefined regions. And our plotting window is as you see here. And let's go ahead and hit plot. So here we see um, just a 15 by 15 wireframe. And let's go ahead and hit the trace key. So what we see is um, down at the bottom, the x and y and z values. And uh, there, this section here and this section here is where our function is undefined. So as we move there, um, we won't you know, see any z values. Um, we can hold down the key too, and I've actually had to slow down the, um, the, the program a little bit because it just goes way too fast on the emulator. Um, even on the hardware, I have to slow this down. So um, we not only get a, uh, a trace of our surface, but we also get uh, cross sections as well, the, the graph of cross sections. And that's probably best demonstrated with a continuous function and not so much with this function here. Um, I've added in a feature where we can also uh, switch the color scheme. So here, the color scheme is based off of the x, y values. Um, so the negative x values toward the back, the positive x values toward the front here, and uh, negative y values toward the left, positive y values toward the right. And um, if, if you want a, uh, a color scheme that's based off of the z values, then we can get one like like you see here. And of course, if we use the trace feature, the previous trace position is saved, and the color schemes uh, change just a little bit so that it's easier to spot where the trace is. And as I'm moving the trace position, the little red circle here, um, we see that the cross sections along the x and y plane um, change accordingly. Let's go back and um, take a look at this this function here. Um, actually, let's go ahead and, and reset the plot settings there. So let's plot. And let's try the trace feature again. So here, as we move the cursor, that little circle there, back and forth or left and right, we're, we're getting our cross sections. Um, <clears throat> you can, of course, rotate for a better view. And let's switch on over to the uh, the Z gradient coloring scheme and again as I move back I can see the cross sections here um, as far also with left and right okay so that's the trace feature that has been implemented um, hopefully uh, this can be released with the next firmware update but if you want to play around with it before then just uh, send me a message on the HP forums and uh, uh, I'll gladly share the uh, code that I've got right now. And that's pretty much it for this particular demo. Oh, um, I guess some of the other features that I've added, um, they're not that great, but um, you may have noticed that the there are two corners that have been labeled, basically the positive XYZ corner and the negative XYZ corner. And uh, eventually I'll, I'll, I'll add in um, actual uh, labels of the axes, but for now, um, this is what we get. So, uh, this is what's to come once I release the uh, update of the 3D graphing program. And um, that's pretty much it. So, thank you again for watching, and catch you all next video.